Hello everyone and welcome to another tier list video, ranking, whatever. Today, we're ranking TV show themes. I watched, I don't know how many TV shows in my lifetime. So I'm gonna rank the themes, specifically the themes. That's what we're going off of. Um, there might be some movies on here. I don't know where we're gonna find out. <laughs> I think I've got like one movie on here, but when I get to it, you'll see why. Anyway, there's a lot. There's a lot on here, and some shows, as you can very much see, have different themes. So we're gonna be talking about those as well. So let's get into it. We're gonna kick it off with the Angry Beavers. I used to watch Angry Beavers a bit as a kid. But I had to stop because my dad realized what the Angry Beavers was actually talking about. Uh, Angry Beavers is iconic. Okay, that's that's a fantastic theme. I think I'm gonna watch some Angry Beavers when this video wait, when I'm done doing this, because <laughs> the Angry Beavers is such a good show. <laughs> uh, but damn, dude, that theme song is in my head forever. It's good. It's not God, but it is very good. If you've seen any Angry Beavers. First off, congrats, you watched one of the best shows Nickelodeon's ever put out. Secondly, the theme rules. Avengers Earth Mightiest Heroes. I have not watched all of the show. I think it's on Disney Plus, is it? I don't know. If it is, then it's probably already on my list. Uh, but the theme song is very good for Avengers Earth Mighty Heroes. This is this is back when superhero shows got bands to play their theme and it ruled. Um, but that theme is just great. You've seen like all the live action remix of it too. You know, it's, it's awesome. We got the Backyardigans, dude. Backyardigans. <laughs> I used to watch it all the time as a kid. I think my favorite episode of the Backyardigans was the super spy episode of Backyardigans is my favorite episode of the Backyardigans I think I've ever seen. It is so good. I remember as a kid, Pablo was my boy. Okay, let's get that out of the way. Pablo, he's the man. He was my boy. So he was the freaking James Bond. I was all over it. I don't think I ever saw an episode of Pablo being the villain until I went to my aunt's. I was with my mom at the time. I was really young, like I couldn't stay home. So my mom's like, I'm gonna go to my to your aunt's to come with me i'm like okay whatever they got tv i can watch the tv it's fine you know i used to just put on disney channel when my mom's on my aunt and i'm just like i'll just put on disney channel and we would watch whatever was on disney channel um and at the time then i, I put on treehouse and it was a backyard against episode that was kind of like at the end and pablo was the villain and i'm like Wait, Pablo's playing a bad guy? <laughs> Never happened before. I don't remember what the episode was called. Dude, Backyardigans was crazy. As a kid, dude, it was the best thing. The theme song, you know, you all know. You all know the theme song, The Backyardigans. We all know it. Uh, but... I mean, it's just okay, let's be honest, it's, but it, we, it lives forever. Batman Brave and the Bold, I'm also putting it okay. Brave and the Bold was my Saturday Batman show. There's a lot of other Batman shows on here. But Brave and the Bold, when it was on, was my Saturday morning Batman show. Because it will record from Cartoon Network, sometimes Teletoon, on Saturday mornings. And I would wake up, come downstairs, have my breakfast, and watch some Batman Brave and the Bold. And Brave and the Bold was a show I actually really like. I know some people don't, but I really like Brave and the Bold. Um, because there's just so many great... Brave and the Bold was one of those shows that also helped me get into some people from the wider DC universe. That's how I know majority of my DC knowledge started from the shows. And then I went and research them after. Raven the Bold was a good one for that too. 
because it was very much about the golden age of comics you know that's what the show was it was an homage to the golden age and there was some really good stuff in Rose Bowl man the theme song is very freaking just like you know dun, da, da, na, 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 na. it's awesome you can go listen to it it's great ah oh, Brave and the Bold dude the memories of Brave and the Bold coming down having i can vividly remember see myself sitting at this table looking at my tv screen with brim the bull playing eating eggs vividly just remember that because that's what i would do oh my god i might watch the brim the bull after this i i I'll, there's a one scene of brim the bull that i always go back to and it's the scene where batman finds joe chill the man who killed his parents that is awesome the Big Bang Theory, the theme is just meh. The show itself was okay. I think Big Bang Theory was a victim of just, it went on far too long. It should have ended years ago. But I remember as a kid when Big Bang Theory was the type of show that like the whole family watched, you know? Um, and I would always like lose my mind when the theme song played. I would do like the stupid dance in front of it. It was, yeah. Blue's Clues is... Okay. Oh, we're rating it off themes. And there's no real theme to Blue's Clues. So it is a bad theme. But the show is god tier if I've ever heard one. Can I just say that? The show, god tier. Theme is bad, so it has to go bad. Because it's not really a theme. Uh, but the show... God tier. God tier. Blue's Clues was my show as a kid. You'll see some other ones later on. Blue's Clues was one of those shows. I would pretend to be Steve from Blue's Clues. I would watch Blue's Clues sitting in a red chair. I made my parents get me a red chair so I could sit in it like Steve did in Blue's Clues. And whenever Steve would have his notepad, I would take out my notepad, I would write down the crayon. I was a big Blue's Clues guy. And I hated Blue's Clues when, Boo start oh, when uh, Blue started talking. That's when I'm like, this isn't my Blue's Clues. Even as a kid, I knew what I want. <laughs> as a kid, I knew what I wanted, and I knew when it was shit. And Blue's Clues, when Blue starts to talk, it's crap. The current Blue's Clues, that's garbage. You watch OG Blue's Clues. Like, I, I don't know how many Blue's Clues discs upstairs. Crazy. Steve was my guy. When Steve left, I cried and died a bit inside. I, li I warmed up to Joe over time. Ben 10. The intro is okay. The show is... I never watched a lot of Ben 10. I'm gonna be honest with you. Ben 10 was always mainly like my cousin's thing. Like he would come... Like if I ever my cousin came over, he would bring Ben 10 and we would watch some Ben 10 and I wouldn't say anything because I'm like, I get to spend on my cousin. But yeah, that's really only, like, the only time I ever watched Ben 10. And then I watched the first episode. But yeah, Ben 10 I know has a lot, it's like a, like a weird timeline and all that stuff, so I am intrigued to watch Ben 10. Also, Dwayne McDuffie did it, and anything Dwayne McDuffie did was very, was usually very good, so. Um, the Builder! Let's put that in, okay, because it's just them saying Bob the Builder. But Bob the Builder was again, one of my shows as a kid. I don't know how many Bob the Builder DVDs I got upstairs. Um, this show ruled. <laughs> Current Bob the Builder, it's garbage. CGI, I don't know what that is. This is Bob the Builder. The, like, kind of claymation style thing. That, that's Bob. That's Bob. They had Elton John on an episode play Bob the Builder's identical twin brother. How is this show not one of the greatest of all time? This show ruled. I love Bob the Builder, dude. Um... What are episodes of Bob the Builder I can remember off the top of my head? Oh, I didn't say about Blue's Clues. Blue's Clues episodes I can remember off the top of my head is the color episode, the Christmas episode, and those are really like the, for the two that really stick out. The episode about colors and the episode the about Christmas. And then the second Christmas one where they showed Steve meeting Blue for the first time. Those are the three episodes that stick in my head for Blue's Clues. For Bob the Builder, it's the pizza episode, the pizza episode, the Gold Rush episode special they did, uh, the Winter Olympic special they did, the Elton John Christmas special, 
and the like hoedown cowboy episode. Those are the five Bob the Builders that stick to me. And I, I can tell you right now, Bob the Builder, Wendy and Bob, one of my first ships ever. <laughs> One of my first ships ever was from Bob the Builder as a kid, because I liked Wendy and Bob. I was crazy even back then. Batman the Animated Series can go in God forever. That is iconic. The show and the theme itself. Batman the Animated Series. What a freaking phenomenon, dude. This show rules. Sadly, I didn't grow up with Batman the Animated Series. I really only got into it when I was like 12, 13. So I'm like, oh, I wish I, as a kid, I watched it. But I'm glad I still watched it. I still watched the whole thing. It's fantastic. I'm looking at it right now, standing over there, all four seasons of it. It's great. I, I, I what more can I say? Go, just go watch the intro. <laughs> Beware the Batman is a good intro. The show is also very good. I really liked Beware the Batman. Uh, I mean, it was made by the same people who made Green Lantern the Animated Series, and Green Lantern the Animated Series, one of my top 10 DC shows. Beware the Batman was made by them. I'm like, oh my god, we're doing a take on Batman for them. That's cool. And it was. It was a very interesting and cool take on Batman. And I wanted to see more. But of course, Cartoon Network has to cancel it. God damn it. Uh, but the theme rules. Go watch the theme. Big time rush. We're doing okay. Because I've listened to the whole song recently. And I'm like, oh my god. Is this really what I would listen to? <laughs> Big time rush was a show I, I liked as a kid. It wasn't like one of the shows I would go out of my way to watch all the time. But it was a t the type of show where if it was like, I'm bored. I'm channel surfing. And I'm like, Big time rush is on. Watch Big Time Rush. I know I can like at least enjoy myself watching Big Time Rush. That's what it was, and that's mainly how I got into Big Time Rush and a lot of actually some of the other shows that are on this list. Because it was just summer and I'm just channel surfing, and I'm like, oh no no, oh Big Time Rush is on. I know about that a bit. Boom, watch Big Time Rush, and that's how you get into it. Yeah, I eventually got super into Big Time Rush that I actually bought their CD. It's upstairs. I might go get it. <laughs> but I have the Big Time Rush CD that I used to listen to constantly. Yeah. That is, that's for true. The only episode of Big Time Rush I can actually remember is the one, is the Christmas special. Crash and Bernstein, the fucking theme song is shit. <laughs> I re listened to it recently and I'm like, what the fuck is this? Yeah, this is not, it's not good. And now thinking about the show, I'm gonna get the idea. Cause I did used to watch it a bit. But yeah, the theme song, I don't know what the hell that was. <laughs> Drake and Josh, we can go iconic. You can just, you can just go and go too. Do I need to say more? Need I say more about Drake and Josh? Golden Age, Golden Age Nick. Nothing's wrong with Drake and Josh ever. Period. Done. We're done. The show and theme rules. Danny Phantom. Put that in good, man. Danny Phantom is a great show. I love Danny Phantom. Wish we got more. But we don't. And the theme song is a damn rap. <laughs> Reboot of DuckTales is... But okay. That's really good. I've I've only seen like the first couple episodes of the reboot of Ducktales, and from what I've seen, it's actually pretty good. Uh, and the theme song is a great redo. I like I really like. It. Again, that's what we're here for: theme songs. But I'm also just gonna talk about the show. Yeah, fine. The theme song's fine. David Tennant, Scrooge McDuck. That's why I watched the show. I'm gonna be honest with you. That's why I watched the show. David Tennant, Scrooge McDuck. Then we got the multitude of Doctor Who themes here. We're going in chronological order. I don't care what that says. Chronological order. The original has to go God because it's just stand the test of time. Like, I don't, I don't know what more I can say. That song is still going today. Almost 60 years later, we're still listening to that song. Like, if that's not a God tier theme, I don't know what it is. 
Like the second one, which is... I used the second Doctor picture, but this was for second Doctor, third Doctor, fourth. It's going good because it's just a... This is a redone version of that one, but it lasted forever. <laughs> they use that theme song forever, dude. Not that it's bad. It's a very good theme, and that's why they used it for so long. But yeah, I, I mean, like, when I compare it to the original, I think that I prefer the original. And then we have here, this is the Delaware theme, which is going in okay. I... Some people, like, absolutely despise the Delaware theme. I think it's just funny. <laughs> you know, like, I can laugh at it. If you don't know what the Delaware theme is, just go on YouTube, type Doctor Who Delaware theme. It was an unused theme that, like, they didn't mean to use and they accidentally aired it once. So, you know. The Peter Howell theme. Iconic. Go in God. Go in God. That theme's almost as memorable as the damn show. Uh, Dominic Glenn goes in God tier for me too. That is to me the definitive Six Doctor theme. When I think of the Six Doctor, it's that theme. That theme rules. Also, I just listened to Big Finish and that's the only <laughs> theme they use. Well, that, that's not true. They use the, the Peter Howell one when uh, Perry is there. But when Perry's not there, and it's the Sixth Doctor and Evelyn, and we're going crazy. Dude. I don't, I don't know what else to tell you. I think your song is awesome. And then we got the Glenn McCulloch theme, which is no joke of a lie. My favorite Doctor Who theme version ever. I love that theme so wrong. Because, and I'll tell you why. The best themes for shows work when it's a dark episode or a lighthearted episode. And goddamn, does both the Dominic Glenn and uh, Kip McCulloch theme just work fantastically for both. Like when you hear the Seven Doctors theme, and it's like a lighthearted episode. You think, oh, it's some cool little techno. Woo! We're really going in the 80s. But when it's a dark episode like Curse of Fenric or going Re Remembrance of the Daleks, you know, or we're listening to an audio like freaking like, you know, Project Lazarus or listen to No Man's Land or Night Thoughts or something. And you hear that theme, you're like, oh, this fits the tone goddamn perfectly. And that's what makes a good theme. We have the New Adventures theme, which is the this is the big finish one that they use for the New Adventure adaptations. Uh, it's good. I I do jam it <laughs> uh, quite a lot. Yeah, the New Adventures theme is pretty cool, and I'm glad that they use it for when it's in that time frame. We have the TV movie theme, which also goes in good, really good theme. Yeah, it's just a fine theme, you know? And for some people, they think that's the 8th Doctor's theme. Well, it's not. Because I'm about to tell you, we're about to go to the 8th Doctor's theme with the freaking David Arnold Big Finish theme with Goes and Gods here. How about that? The theme song is fantastic. I love the theme song. It's a very dark theme song. But again, it works for both. Works for a lighthearted story. Works for a dark story. That's the best theme. I remember hearing it for the very first time in like, what was it, 2018, I think? Yeah. When did season 11, series 11 air? 20, 2018, right? Yeah, 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 yeah. I think it was 2018. That, that's when I heard this theme song for the very first time, listening to Storm Morning. I put it on, big freaking grin on my face, because I'm like, oh my god, I'm listening to the 8th Doctor on audio. And then I heard the theme and I'm like, oh my god, this is awesome. This theme song rolled, man. The memories. This is the Nicholas Briggs theme, which is... <laughs> Nick, stick to writing the stories, buddy. 
This theme song was used for you if you're wondering for the Lucy Miller stuff with the Eighth Doctor, which I'm just starting now. The Time Warrior theme used for the Eighth Doctor Time War stuff and the War Doctor stuff. It wasn't good because it really is like this is this is what I imagine a war. Like they got the drums going like da da da, like we're going crazy. We're in war here, boys. Yeah, they use that for the Eighth Doctor Time War stuff and the War Doctor stuff. So, it's really good. We got the theme from when the show came back, which is just great, great theme from when the show came back. This is my childhood in a theme song, really. Like, oh damn, I'm hugging my pillow because. Oh my god, I'm thinking of my childhood. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, the times. See, I... Even though Tenet used this theme, I just associate it as the Ninth Doctor theme. You know? Because we're gonna get to what I associate the Tenth Doctor theme as. But yeah, this was my childhood. This song. And then we have the Tenth Doctor theme. Which is just like more guitar. I think that one's a lot better, but I associate this as the 10th Doctor theme. The 11th Doctor theme is very mid. I'm not a huge fan of the first 11th Doctor theme. Really not. It didn't sit well with me. It's just kind of. The second version is a lot better. I'll tell you that much. Like, if you listen to them, they're pretty much the same thing, but this one's like an improvement. 12th Doctor theme goes good. It's a great theme. I love it. And then the 13th Doctor theme can also go good. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna put it okay, because it's just the original, but they added just a bunch of freaking drums. We got Franklin! Hey, it's Franklin. Let's actually go to a meh. I used to watch Franklin a lot. The original, OG, hand drawn Franklin was what I used to watch. And there he is. Not really. That's actually like the computer anime one. But you know what I mean. I'm talking about the OG. I remember the one where Franklin had nightmares. or the, And then I remember the one where he, made, he tried to make cookies. Like, like That's what I used to watch all the time. Franklin. Let's go. Every kid in elementary school, we talked about Franklin. We all agreed. Franklin ruled in elementary school. Like kindergarten grade one, we all agreed. Franklin rules. Fish hooks. One, two, three, four. Who's that knocking at your door? Fish hooks. Great show. I can't believe Justin Rowland is freaking Oscar. <laughs> when I found that out for the first time, I'm like, oh my god, he is! He's also Blendon Blandon? He's got a catalog of voices, man. Rick, Morty, Blendon Blandon, which is just Morty. Oscar, which is just Morty. <laughs> yeah. Pretty Chuck's theme rules. Fairly all parents can go just. Dude, Fairly Odd Parents was one of the shows, man. It died years ago when they added the dog and then they added the blonde girl who, like, they shared the fairies and whatever the fuck. I don't know. I stopped watching long before that, but the Fairly Odd Parents I remember, dude. The summer days, the after coming home from school nights, Fairly Odd Parents. Those are the times, man. We, we all know, you know, to him, he's a man. Yeah, the no one understands. Yeah, let's go. Grady Falls going to God. Right the fuck away. Just go in God and live forever. Grady Falls. Grady Falls, top three shows. Top three shows. Doctor Who, one other thing, Gravity Falls. Those are your top three. We're going to get to the what number two is later because it's here. Gravity Falls. Top three. Top three. Theme song, great. Used to give me chills when I was like just started watching, getting into the show. And that you would like, I would like turn the volume up and get closer to the theme song to hear the whisper at the end. It would always make me go like, oh, oh. Gravity Falls, head of its time. Head of its time. Grants in the animated series can go. The theme song is just okay, but the show was so good. Really miss Green Lantern the Animated Series, man. Get, bring it back. Bring my man back. Gaming show, My Parents' Garage. Theme song's meh, but the idea of the show... I don't need you anymore. Well, I should just put you over here. <laughs> Keep him there. Uh, the idea of the show 
was very interesting. And it, it was really cool. Like, it was an actual... They actually had people in charge of it who liked games. And they would go around and just go around the gaming community. Like, they would get... They would show you sneak peeks of games, interview with actors and game developers, and all that type of stuff. Like, it was an actual good show of just gaming. Like, they would do, like, top five tricks for Mario Kart. Like, actual, like... Little mini list in the show too. Oh, it was it was a good show. It was a really good show. But then it's gone. The Grand Tour. Dude, I love the Grand Tour. I love these three fuckers. <laughs> They're what I wanna be. <laughs> uh the theme song's okay, but show is just Love these three. <laughs> they rule. In fact, I'm gonna skip ahead. Where is it? Because I know it's on here. I'm looking for it. There it is. Top Gear. We're going to put Top Gear uh, also in the OK tier. Because the theme songs aren't super good. But just the quality of the show, you know? Put one ahead. Because Grand Tour is just the continuation of Top Gear. <laughs> iCarly, the original. I have not seen anything of the new one yet. Of the re revival. But god damn, I used to watch iCarly a lot as a kid. iCarly was one of those shows, you know? One of the shows... I mean, who didn't love iCarly? iCarly was a great show, so, you know? The theme song sticks in your head too, you would always dance to it. I... The episodes of iCarly, I vividly remember, is the first one... Uh... The Nora ones, where, like, they had the stalker fan. I remember those ones too, like when Gibby beats her up and they roll down the stairs and the other, uh, I remember that one, the two stalker fan ones, uh, the one where Freddy got hit by the car, and the Christmas one where Carly wishes Spencer was born normal, and the guy's like, I get, the angel gets his wings, and then at the end he just gets a plate of chicken wings. Stupid, but you know, yeah. I Carly iconic. <laughs> well, one of my favorite shows. Uh, I'm in the band, dude. This theme song rules. Okay, <laughs> this theme song, the hits. <laughs> Let's put it that way. The show was. It was a good show. Oh my god, I'm in the band, dude. I don't know if it's on Disney Plus. Is it on Disney Plus? Let me know if it's on Disney Plus. If it is, I'm gonna rewatch it. That's what I use Disney Plus for, just to rewatch all my old favorites. Invader Zim's theme can go in there. That theme song fucking rules. The show itself was way something Disney, I mean, um, Nick was not prepared for. <laughs> I wish it was brought back. But we have the comics, which I haven't read anymore. Bring back Invader Zim to TV, please. Come on, Netflix. Jesse goes okay. I actually didn't hate Jesse. <laughs> like, it, it did get annoying. Like, I mean, it got annoying because my brother was the big mainly. He used to watch Jesse. And it mainly annoyed me just because I was hearing it all the goddamn time. And I'm like, Jesus Christ, I'm going to kill myself if I hear this theme one more time. But it's actually not the worst, <laughs> you know? I grow to it, God damn it, Justice League. Put both of them in God. They live forever. May we praise the DCAU. Justice League and Justice League Unlimited. You see the live action remakes all the goddamn time. These live in my head. And they will never go away. The memories with these theme songs alone. Is just like, oh my god. Remember during the intro to the Justice League. I would wait for the Superman part. Because the Superman part is like... That's when like the theme goes into like the second gear. And it's Superman punching through the wall and then he flies through it. As a kid, I would wait and I would imitate that. <laughs> Superman's my guy. Damn theme. And then the Unlimited is just going we're going crazy now. Be getting them guitars going? Yeah, dude. Those theme it's rule. Kicking it can the theme song's man, but the show was really good. I really liked kicking it. I remember being very sad when I'm like, what, they're ending it? Yeah. That was a horrible song. 
That's what kicking it was too, guys. It was a summer show. You're scrolling. You're like, oh, kicking it. I, I, yeah, you know. I think it's on Disney Plus too, so I'm gonna rewatch it. Knight Rider. I'm actually rewatching Knight Rider, <laughs> like now. Go good, man. Knight Rider was my was one of my favorite shows growing up. I used to watch Knight Rider, and I'm rewatching it now. And it's just oh my god. Some episodes though, I'm like as a kid. I'm like I I'm like oh I remember liking this episode as a kid. I'm like now I'm like hmm. Oh no. We'll do Lab Rats first. Lab Rats theme song rules. The show ruled. Like it got intense in play. It was just a show about freaking three bionic teens. You know? You got superpowers. You gotta go into high school. Make sure no one knows. Ooh, 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 what funny stuff can we get into? But no, they actually went fucking into it. And just like the government implications of what if these teens are found out. Like there were episodes where you're like, oh my god, the government's gonna take this. And, like, some of the episodes of this show went crazy, dude. With, uh, Douglas and Marcus, um, what's his name, Crane, Victor Crane. The episode where you thought Mr. Davenport fucking died, I'm like, way is he dead? They're gonna kill him? Like, Lab Rats went crazy in places. And the theme song was great. Elite Force. How we get here? How we get here? This was just a go big Lab Rats Mighty Mid crossover show after they established that they were in the same universe. And I don't want to talk about it. <laughs> Modern Family's theme song is shit. <laughs> Cause just someone going, hey, hey. <laughs> the show I stopped watching a while ago. I don't even know if it's still going. I stopped watching years ago. Mighty Med can also go in okay. Is is a rap. And rules. But it's not as good as Lab Rats. The shows, I would again say Lab Rats over Mighty Man, but Mighty Man is still really fucking cool. Mr. Young can go in okay. I loved Mr. Young as a kid. Dude, Mr. Young ruled! I thought him and Echo? I remember being all over that as a kid. Do they get together at the end? I think they do, right? Mr. Young and Echo, do they get together at the end? I think so. I think they do. I think Mr. Young's on Prime, too. I think it's on my list. <laughs> Pac-Man and Ghostly Adventures was something, dude, I used to watch a lot. Um, from like grade 5 to grade, to grade 8. I used to watch Pac-Man and Ghostly Adventures a lot. Because that's around the time my grandpa started picking me up from school and we used to hang out at his place until my parents came home and at just about the time in elementary school, but like just when we got home, Pac-Man was starting. <laughs> so I used to watch Pac-Man like right when I got home from school for like three years. Dude, they didn't have to go crazy with the theme, dude, because the theme is like some people like actually going like, yo, like <laughs> It's a freaking like dude. The dudes go crazy rapping and all this shit, freestyling. I'm like, dude, you don't have to go crazy. It's a show about Pac-Man. <laughs> it got canceled and it ends on cliffhangers because all shows do, I guess. Phineas and Ferb. Need I say more? We all love Phineas and Ferb, dude. I'm gonna rewatch. Start watching. I'm gonna start rewatching Phineas and Ferb. No short of a lie. Oh my god, dude, Phineas and Ferb. I got memories with Phineas and Ferb, man. I'm gonna tell you that much. I got, I'm gonna tell you that much. I got some memories with Phineas and Ferb. Um, the episode, it was the summer part where it was like the two-parter in Africa where Carl became a supervillain. That was crazy as a kid. Part one at the beginning of summer. Part two at the end of summer. What? I remember part one ended and at the beginning of summer, and then my friend's like, okay, we're going on a trip for like a majority of the summer. And I'm like, okay, but are we gonna be back in time to watch Phineas and Ferb though? Thankfully we were. We were back in time to watch Phineas and Ferb. And then after I watched the episode of Phineas and Ferb, I'm like, oh god damn, summer's almost over. <laughs> Cause I was like, yeah, so come on, let's get to the like August 25th, come on, let, 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 let's go. And then I'm like, oh damn, summer's almost over now. 
Bear Kings can go in good, dude. Bear Kings was one of my shows. Loved Bear Kings. This is when Disney was hitting on all cylinders. Phineas and Ferret, Bear Kings, kicking it. Lab Rats, Mighty Med. We were going crazy with Disney at this point. Disney was on a hot streak at this point. And the show died after season two. You stop watching after season two, you hear me? Season three doesn't exist. The show died when Brady left. Rick and Morty's theme is just okay. It's just like sci-fi noise. But I love this show. I'm waiting for the finale, dude. I'm waiting for the finale. I think the finale is I think the finale's today, isn't it? Because I need to watch it. <laughs> I think it's today. If it is today, I'm watching it today. I'm going to check when this is over. I'm probably watch. I love Rick and Morty so much. I know it's become a meme, but like I genuinely like the show. <laughs> oh dear lord, we're getting into all the sword art online themes. Oh baby, oh baby. Here we go. Let's start it off. Let's start it off. Crossing fields. Go in God and may you stay. Love Crossing Field. Nothing's beating this, by the way. Crossing Field, the definitive theme for Sword Art, and nothing will beat it. If you think otherwise, you're fucking wrong. This song rules. I listen to it every day. I can't go a day without listening to Crossing Field, man. I, I legitimately can't. We have Innocence, which is good. But when you compare it to Crossing Fields, it's like, you know, we forget the arc. <laughs> Let's move away from the arc. Let's just talk about the song. This arc, I cried arc, beautiful. Mwah. Can't wait for progressive. This arc, uh, the dark days. We put that aside. We got the gun gale. It's not fucking Phantom Bullet. It's Gun Gale. Uh, I love the theme. Not on. It's not as good as Crossing Fields, but I love this theme. I also very much listen to this theme pretty much every day too. It's awesome. Awesome. This arc was so good. I didn't expect it to be good. Cause I'm, I'm gonna tell you my story about Sword Art. I watched the first season. Einkrad Fairy Dance. Watched it and I'm like, okay, the ending was fine. Like, everyone was happy playing Alfheim. We're gonna go to new Einkrad, you know? And I'm like, cool, everything's happy. I don't want you to be unhappy because sometimes, you know, it's like, okay, good ending. We're all happy. We're all good, right? Good ending. Everything's fine. Sometimes shows, then they continue and they ruin that good ending. I'm like, I don't want that to happen to Sword Art. So I just stopped after season one. And then this summer, I'm like, okay, I'm gonna rewatch all of Sword Art. You know? Rewatch season one, blew through it, and I'm like, cool. Now on to season two. And we got into Gun Gale, and I was blown away. I'm like, this f arc is awesome. With Death Gun, and we got Seen on. I loved it. Uh, then this is Caliber. Caliber is. We can put the themes together because it's the same theme song. What the fuck? Get over there. <laughs> Caliber and Mother's Rosario have the same theme, Courage. And it's a fine, it's fine. Like, it's fine. Uh, no theme in Sword Art Online is bad. Let's say that right now. All the theme songs are awesome. We're just gonna leave them there. They are good. But they don't compare to, to uh, Ignite. Get that out of the way. Caliber's arc, I thought was fine. Nice little filler. Mother's Rosario, fantastic. Great. Not my favorite. My favorite arc. What is my favorite? Probably Einkrad. Gotta be honest with you. Probably goes Einkrad. Gun Gale. Alicization. Mother's Rosario. Top four. That's that's my arcs in order. Einkrad. Gun Gale. Alicization. Slash War of Underworld. Because it's just the same fucking thing. Mother's Rosario. Ordinal scale. Caliber fairy dance. Cause you're goddamn right fairy dance at the right fucking bottom. Ordinal scale! This is for catch the moment, which is like the ending theme that they did. 
Uh, it's fine. You know, like again, it's just fine. I had to. F I might tell a story about Order No Scale, right? Fuck now. I had to buy it because it's not on Netflix. I'm like, oh, that sucks, bro. It's not on Netflix. So I'm like, okay, where can I find it? Check Amazon. Obviously, the first thing you do, you check Amazon. I'm like, okay, it's not on Amazon, but it's not sold by Amazon. It's sold by someone else, which I don't really have a problem with. Um, but I'm like, but does it work? Would it work on my DVD players? Apparently, it wouldn't. Because all the comments are on the thing where like it doesn't work on Canadian DVD players I'm like oh no so I'm like where can I watch this online and then I just started typing ordinal scale in YouTube and YouTube had it I'm like oh that's right you can buy movies on YouTube it was there for $15 so I brought I found out you could pay for it with Google Play money I ran to the to the store near my house bought a Google Play card came back and bought ordinal scale and then I watched it all in one go. Great movie. I cry. The ending made me cry. I love Ordinal Scale. I want to rewatch it. Wait. Uh, we have Alicization with Adamus. Go to God. <laughs> and stay there. We can also put Slash Resistor as well. Because Resistor is also there. Uh... They're both awesome. Resistor, I don't have a picture for Resistor. Resistor goes in good. Adamus is gone. Great. And then we have War of Underworld with... What is the name of the theme? It's good. Both the themes are good. What are their names again? I can't remember the names of them, but I can hear it in my head. It's good, yeah. I listen. I watched... Uh, season 4, War of Underworld. I count War of Underworld as Season 4. Fuck off. Because um, that's how Netflix is going to put it. Season 4. Um, I watched it all on YouTube. <laughs> not on Netflix yet. It's not going to be on Netflix till like next year. So I'm like, fuck it, where can I watch it? I just checked YouTube and someone has uploaded it. In like the tiny box at the corner. I'm like, screw it. That's, that's, what, I, that's how I watched it. Watched it all in a week. SpongeBob SquarePants, you want to go to God tier, my boy? Look at this little dude. I got memories with SpongeBob like you wouldn't fucking believe. I quote SpongeBob every damn day. A day doesn't go by where I don't go, you know, like, uh, the maniac is in the mailbox. Or, you know, talk about, you know, where's the leak, ma'am? You know, wee woo, wee woo. You know, I'm just sitting there and I'll, I'll and I'll just go like, you know, tortellini. You know, like, I, it's about my rules. This theme song lives in my head. You know, who lives in a pineapple? You all know. We all know. We all know. I'm going to upload some more Battle of Bikini Bottom later on this week. <laughs> Spider-Man 94, I believe that was when this show came out. I'm going to put a god. You know, Spider-Man, radioactive Spider-Man. Rules. I only recently, I only watched the 94 show at the beginning of, uh, in uh, September of 2019. Is when I first watched this show. Watched it when I was starting grade 11. And it was like my weekend show. You know, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, you watch some Spider-Man. Awesome. Loved it. Really good show. Put it on my list on Disney+. Plus. Spectacular Spider-Man can also go in good. That is also a really good show and I wish it could have continued. But goddamn Disney, you gave us Ultimate Spider-Man instead, didn't you, you fucks? But you know what? Spectacular Spider-Man. We got the two seasons. And they're really good. It's on Netflix. It's on my Netflix watch list. Ah, oh, man, but I would have loved to see, like, love for Greg Wiseman to fully just give everything we got. We were going to get, like, five seasons, some direct-to-DVD movies, 
He told us the plan. Hobgoblin, Morbius, Scorpion, Mr. Negative, Sin Eater. Peter and MJ was going to be the end game. At the end, Gwen was going to go fuck away. Not that I don't like Gwen, but I'm like, he was going to go comic route. Superman the Animated Series. You want to go in God tier, my guy? Let's just put that there. Remember how I said I only started watching Batman like 12, 13? I was watching Superman as a kid. That's why in Justice League I was imitating the Superman punch. Superman was what I watched. That was the superhero. That was my go to superhero show as a, as a little kid. Superman the Animated Series. Slug Terra! They can go in okay. They do, they went crazy for that one. <laughs> they started going like crazy, like I'm like, dude, what the hell? <laughs> that was another summer show, by the way. I started over I actually, you know what? I rewatched Slugterra this year. This year I rewatched Slugterra. And you know what? Still pretty good. Ends on a goddamn like it just ends on a cliffhanger again because all shows do. That's uh, also the same people who made Suck Terra made League of Super Evil, Stormhawks. And what else did they make? They made other shows. League of Superhero. League of Super Villains. No. Ah! League of Super Evil, Stormhawks, Slug Terra, and they made some other shows, but I. Blanking on them. But yeah, that studio makes a bunch of shows. The Batman can go in good. That's a really good theme. The first two seasons of The Batman are awesome. The rest is kind of... Spider-Man, the new animated series, is the best Spider-Man show ever. Fight me. That theme song is my childhood for Spider-Man. Those 13 episodes. Oh my god. I wish we could have got more. I know someone's making their own season 2. I will be watching that. You can bet. Teen Titans, go! Never really watched this original Teen Titans. Watch a couple episodes. The theme song, like, you mean, that's what we're here for. But you know, Tron Uprising's theme can go in good because it's a Tron theme, and anything Tron music-wise is awesome. Victorious. I used to watch Victorious a lot. I really did, man. I used to watch Victorious quite a lot. As a kid, just like I Carly, and the crossover blew my mind. <gasps> Word, girl, you want to talk about a goddamn show, <laughs> dude? Word, girl, was the shit. It was an educate. If you guys have never seen World Cup, Word Girl was an educational show on like knowledge kids, which, by the way, shouts out to knowledge kids. Um, and like the, the premise of the show. Well, she's a superhero from... They, they do the generic origin story. Superhero from another planet comes to cr crashes on Earth. Gets... Is from a, a family. You know, that whole thing. But her power is... She has the generic powers. Like, flight, super strength. She can move really fast. She gets, like, super breath at times. Um, But her big power is... She has a vast vocabulary. And that is how I learned words as a kid. From this. Like, oh my god. And it was done. It, but it was done. Like, that's the thing. It was a show teaching you about words. Disguised as a show about superheroes. Why the fuck don't we do more shit like that? That's how I learned words. That's how I passed my grade 3 spelling tests about learning new words and their meaning by watching Word Girl and letting her spiel on about what remembrance means or what Taru means. Like, it's awesome. The episodes of Word Girl I can remember off the top of my head. Her rogues gallery, guys. The rogues gallery is awesome. Chuck the evil sandwich making guy where everything is sandwich related. He's got a sandwich for a face. The whammer? Wham! Dude was a viking and he was crazy. 
Dr. Two Brains, the little mouse brain. Dude was crazy. I will forever remember the episode where he finds out War Girl's identity. And then he goes to her family and he's going to expose her. But then he stops because they're eating mac and cheese. And he has to eat the mac and cheese. Um, Mr. Big, who's played by Eric fucking Roberts. Um, oh my God. I'm trying to think. Like, um, like I got so many. There's in my head. The Butcher! Let's go! The Butcher was crazy. His power was he would do like that. And then meat would come out through like a portal of his head. And he would just shoot you with meat. <laughs> there was the episode where his dad came in. And his dad had that same power but with potatoes. And his dad's like, we're going to be a team. Meat and potatoes. What the fuck? show ruled and the lady redundant woman where she can make copies of herself by touching her nose she boops herself boop boop and then she makes a copy of herself and then her copy was called doopy and doopy and the butcher out of romance and doopy's like but we can't be together i'm a vegetarian <laughs> <laughs> fucking ruled i'm gonna do some word girl reactions on this fucking channel you can bet your ass Oh my god, I gotta get my World Girl discs. I got like seven or eight World Girl discs upstairs. I gotta get them. So ruled. There was Miss Question. Oh my god, this was like a big dilemma to me as a kid. I'm just remembering this now. There was Miss Question, who I saw her introductory episode where. It was an episode where, like, this guy was like, I'm gonna teach you guys how to be supervillains. And there was Miss Question, this guy with a big left hand and some other j brone and miss question is the only one of them who ever came back but when she came back she had actual superpowers and actually they made her seem like a threat her original thing in the her debut was just she just kept asking questions question 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 questions when she showed up again with superpowers and she had like a glider which was like done on a question mark she could shoot question mark like energy things out of her chest and she would still only talk in questions but then she would ask riddles and stuff like that it's like what, what the fuck happened here <laughs> she get bit by a radioactive question mark maybe she was trained by the question mark karate indeed rest in peace my guy where's this away place iconic what a damn good show. One of the classic Disney shows. Disney now is nothing like Disney back in the day. Wonder Pets. Just for the theme. And then Young Justice. This this can be both. Goes good. The theme song for the first two seasons is awesome. Really action. And then for the third one is very dark and ominous and foreboding. Great. And that does it. That this is the tier list of theme show, of themes from TV shows. This is definitive. If you think it's wrong, you're fucking wrong. That's it. So let me know what you all think. Comments down below. Again, if you don't agree, you're wrong. All you can do is agree. So, that's it. Here the here it is. Take your screenshots. Post it in the museums. That's where this is going. Museum. And that's it. Thank you all for watching. Uh, subscribe, please, please, and I'll uh, see you guys next time.